We are now just a little more than a month away from congestion pricing taking effect right here in New York City. While a lot of the focus has been on the congestion zone, the truth of the matter is the tolling plan will impact all New Yorkers. Today, we went and want to focus on the Bronx part of all this, several miles north of the tolling area. People in the Bronx, particularly those who live near the Cross Bronx Expressway, are very concerned that drivers looking to avoid the toll will be diverted into their neighborhood, causing traffic and big air quality issues. The MTA says it has a plan for that, but will it be enough to ease residents' worries? Here's Joe Torres. Ask people in the Bronx about the MTA's congestion pricing plan, and it's not traffic and tie-ups that worry the moms and dads here. It's the health of their children that keeps them up at night. I think it's a bad decision to do such thing around school because there are a lot of children that are suffering. For many of the people who live, work, and play in the only borough connected to the mainland, the downsides of the MTA's controversial plan outweigh the upsides. And those drawbacks are based on an acknowledged reality from the MTA. Less traffic in Manhattan's central business district will lead to more traffic in the crowded residential areas of the Bronx. This is the Major Deegan Expressway, and right over there, the Mitchell and Millbrook houses. Roughly 60,000 people live in a two and a half mile radius of this area. Environmental activists point out one in five children suffer from asthma in this area, and they say the poor health over there is directly related to the traffic over here. What's the cost benefit of adding more traffic to a community that's already overburdened? You that is Michael Johnson. 13 years ago, the Mott Haven father of two co-founded South Bronx Unite. The environmental justice organization has 40 air quality monitors scattered throughout the borough. We're counting traffic and air. So we've looked at increase in particulate matter, mm -hmm. CO, NO. It's acknowledged by even by the state that there's increases currently. Bronx Congressman Richie Torres knows all about the poor air quality, the asthma rates, and the health care woes of his constituents. He says the state has promised to address the environmental concerns. He points to the plan's $155 million in community benefits. Some of those benefits will go toward removing refrigerated truck units mm -hmm. in Hunts Point, mm -hmm. which could reduce particulate matter pollution by as much as 90 percent. Mm -hmm. Not so fast, says Dan Barabino. The vice president of operations at Top Banana makes his living at Hunts Point, where thousands of trucks roll in and out of the produce market each and every day. It's just another layer, another cost associated to something that already has, you know, a lot of pressure from all different angles, from transportation expenses to product expenses to handling expenses, delivery, billing, all that stuff. Everyone knows there's bad air quality in the South Bronx. Let's mitigate the existing situation, now add on to it saying you're then going to mitigate that. No, mitigate what we have currently. That has been the decades-long wish of people who say traffic relief in Manhattan should not outweigh health care in the Bronx. I'm Joe Torres, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.